Hey guys, this is Robert with Midden Mowing. Hey, uh, as fall cleanups are really getting going here, uh, I wanted to do a video on some of the equipment that we use during the cleanups to pick up leaves and haul them away and everything. Uh, we've had some people actually ask for what equipment we've used and things like that. So thought I'd do a quick video on, you know, the truck, the trailer, and the equipment that we use. And it's actually two trucks and trailers. But um, first we'll just start with the truck that I'm usually driving. Um, it is this one right here. It is an 08 350. Uh, it's gas. It's got a V10 in it. And uh, we couldn't we couldn't ask for something better. Uh, we actually prefer the gas motors over the diesel, um, and and I could do another video later on about why and uh, why we're only running gas on on a truck like this. So, yep, yeah, we uh, we've got this one. And then as far as what we're bringing out to the property for mowing, uh, we've got this uh, Xmark Laser Z. It's an E series. Uh, 60 inch and uh, we it's a 2016 but uh, we we put the ultravac system on it and it's got the dump hopper on it so we we prefer this one because we're actually able to just drive up to our dump site on the property wherever we're dumping leaves for the time being and we can just dump right there we don't have to get off of the machine or anything like that we can just pull this little lever and I'll go over there and show you which lever it is But it's this lever right here. We can pull this lever and it opens it up. And, you know, maybe I should have taken it off the trailer a little bit so you could see how it opens up. But this little hatch right here opens up. It holds just as much as a three bag system. It's just a little bit easier for us. And uh, we, don't, we don't dump into trucks usually. So this isn't a problem for us doing it this way. And I'll show you why. But then the other machine that we take with us is a uh, Skag V-Ride 36. We got this one last year at the end of the season, so we didn't even really use it last season. But um, we use this to collect leaves as well. It's also, you know, used during our normal, our normal mowing season as well. And, you know, if somebody wants to bag their property, we use this usually because during the year we don't keep the bagging system, the Ultravac system, on the X mark. Um, so we just do this. We usually just use the, the V-Ride. And all it is is an accelerator bagger that goes on the side right here. And um, we just use that. It doesn't hold very much. In fact, here's the, here's the bagger right here. Um, it's completely aluminum. It's nice and lightweight. It makes it easy to uh, just open the hatch like this. And we can actually take it off when we go to dump as well. So, uh, some of the things I carry in this truck with me, just to help out with the leaves and everything. Um, we carry rakes, obviously. And uh, we take brooms, push brooms, so when we're clear of parking lots and everything, we can just kind of push it towards the area that we need it to. Um, these little rakes right here are by far my favorite ones. They, uh, they are completely adjustable. So if I just pull this hatch right here, or this trigger, it will take and close it so I can get behind a bush pretty easy, or it will open if I want to do a wide area. So the trailer that we haul everything with is a SureTrack 16 foot trailer. Um, we bought it in 2017 for that season. It's done us quite well. Can't complain about it at all. And it, it, it just goes down the road real nice. It's real nice and smooth. Uh, as far as getting the leaves out of beds, blowing them wherever we need to blow, right now we've got two uh, steel BR700s. Next year I'd love to get the 800 because uh, I've been watching some of the videos on that. And we didn't make it to the GIE this year, but... Um, definitely something that I am definitely interested in and all the all the weed whackers and everything we've actually got on jungle gym trailer mate uh, it's on their rack system and uh, we've used it for a couple years now and it's been great for us so let me take you over to the leaf truck that we've got so we used this thing last year 
and uh, it's not a dump or anything like that we're hoping to get a dump but anyways this is what it is uh, we used it last year as a leaf truck and it's been pretty good for us as you can see we've got a box on the back of it it's a 98 Chevy with a 5.0 in it uh, it's not it's not the 5.7 or anything like that it's just a regular Cheyenne 1500 and uh, it's got some helper springs on the back to help out with some of the weight but um, we can do another video about some of the trucks and if you got any questions you know what trucks we're using anything like that we can do a video on that but uh, the box so what it is is it's just a uh, framed in box and it's uh, plywood sides we use three quarter inch plywood on the sides we've got this locking mechanism back here and everything all the plywood was primed and painted so you know it could withstand all the leaves and debris and everything hidden it and um, we just this is what we use to get it out we just suck it back out instead of dumping it since we don't have a dump on it on top as you can see we've got a uh, screen tarp to keep the leaves in but it also lets airflow and then to help out with airflow uh, we've got these two screens up front that are held in with uh, are made with wire mesh and then we've actually got two screens on each side of the box right there you can see them that are uh, just window screen and then the expanded metal as well uh, one new thing that we ended up doing this year on this truck is we added that strobe light up top in fact I will turn it on real quick so you can see it a little bit easier But uh, yeah, we added that this year. Last year we noticed that even though we turn on flashers, we're moving slow through parking lots, or we're just sitting on the side of a little side street, people still, still don't seem to understand that something is going on. So we figure if we put the strobe light on there, maybe that will help out and they'll be able to see us. And we actually did notice, uh, yesterday it was, I was running around uh, in, in the 350 and I was behind this truck as it was moving around it is a whole lot easier to see with the strobe lights it does make sense um, and it just gives you a little bit more of a safe feeling because you know that there's something else out there saying that you are here you're moving slow and you don't have anybody just kind of tailgating you or whatever but as far as the machine that we use to pick up leaves it is a Little Wonder 16 horse leaf vac. Uh, this thing has been one of the best investments we could have made for a fall cleanup season, spring cleanup season, anything like that. Uh, it's got a Briggs and Stratton Vanguard 16 horse motor on it. Uh, it's got this big nozzle on it. The hose actually stretches out 10 feet. It is a nice machine. Uh, we can actually rotate the top, the neck of it, to either send it towards the truck, the trailer, or if we want to dump somewhere, uh, like we do here, as you can see, we dump here. Um, we can just kind of send it wherever we need to, and it shoots it right out. So with this, we can actually shoot into the trailer as well. All we do is we, we wrap the screen tarp around the nozzle, bend that uh, red little tip up there down a little bit, and it sends it right down into the trailer. Um, it's just been a lifesaver for us having that leaf vac instead of having to hand load everything that we have. Um, because I'm sure if you've been doing this for a while or you see a lot of leaves, you can't get everything with a mower. And uh, sometimes you just got to blow things into a pile. And that's all there is to it. You just blow it into a pile. But with this, we can drive around parking lots and just suck it up. So it, it does make it really helpful. A uh, couple changes we made to the trailer this year. It's just a little 12 foot trailer and uh, it's a carry-all I think is what it's called. It's a carry-all trailer but we uh, we ended up this year putting two tail lights on each side of this trailer. The reason we did that is because if one goes out for some reason, brake light, running light, anything like that, we have that extra safety feature there knowing that other tail light is there. Um, 
and everything is heat shrunk together. Hopefully nothing like that will happen, and they are LEDs, but you never know something like that could happen. As you notice too, we've added strobe lights on the trailer right here. This is a little strobe light. We've got one of these on each side right here as well. And then also we have strobe lights underneath, if you can see them, right there. Um, so there's a total of four strobe lights on this trailer and it's actually just wired up to the truck with a switch in the truck and I'll show you that here in a second so you can you can see how we, we wired that or uh, made the switch there. So one thing we also have on this trailer is it's actually a, a string trimmer rack but we use it to haul rakes, pitchforks, and there should be a broom on here, but there's not right now, so we guess got to make sure that goes on there. And that's just so when this truck is being used, we can easily just grab it and uh, use it as we need it. Uh, for the doors on this box, too, we also put these on here. So, just got a little eyeball right here on the door. We swing open the door, throw that on there. It keeps the door open. You know, if we're inside the truck for any sort of reason, like when we're unloading, we can just keep that door staying open. So, as far as the truck goes, with the switch, I'll show you that real quick. And, uh, that way you can see how it works. So, when you're sitting in the truck, you just got this little switch right here. When that light comes on, strobe lights are on as long as you're obviously attached to the trailer. And I'll show you those lights. If you can see them, it's a, I was hoping it would be a little bit darker when I got to doing this, but unfortunately it is still light out. But here is one of them. And then here's the other one over here. And then we've got the two underneath the trailer up at the front as well. Um, so it definitely makes it easier to be seen with these lights on and then with that indicator light being on inside the truck You know if somebody forgets to turn the lights off They know if that light is on whoever's driving it can just know that they accidentally left the lights on So and all we did to wire that is we just wired it like normal that comes with three wires uh, for those strobe lights that we installed and uh, one wire is positive, one wire is ground, and one wire is a is a wire that allows you to change the um, the pattern of the strobe lights. Uh, they call it a, it's a separate ground, is what they say it is. And what we ended up doing there is there's this little button right here on the inside of the trailer on the A-frame of the trailer. We hit that button and it'll change the pattern if we feel like we need to do that. But then the other two wires, the positive and the ground, we just brought them through the trailer up to this accessory harness and then wired the accessory harness up through the truck. So, yep, that's pretty much what we use as far as fall cleanups go, as far as the equipment. You know, if they're shrub trimming, then we use other items. But, um, Yep, that's pretty much what we use for that. But we'll switch that off. And then we just have this for the uh, strobe light on the truck, the green and white one that's on top of the truck. But if you guys have any questions about our equipment that we use, how we do things, you know, as far as our process with cleanup, or any questions about our business, feel free to contact me. Um, you can always find me uh, through email at robert at midden mowing. You can leave a comment on YouTube, Facebook, or you can find us on Instagram as well, which is midden mowing LLC. And um, we've actually changed our name. We've put a DBA out there, and that is actually midden mowing and landscaping. Our first piece of uh, signage, I guess you could call it, that shows that is the sign that we ended up putting on the back of our Sure Track trailer. It's this one. And uh, that's what we have as far as right now showing that new, uh, that new name. But we found that we had to add the landscaping so people knew that we did landscaping. A lot of people assumed that we did just mowing or grass cuts and they didn't think that we did landscaping as well. Uh, I get it. I figured that people 
would just figure it out, but apparently not. So, anyways, if you got any questions, just uh, leave a comment on YouTube, Facebook, or you can send us a message through email or um, or Instagram, or you can give me a call at 989-708-9191. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.